Oh, hell. Y'all saying black men broke? Hold on. They saying black men broke. Lord have mercy. They just know not what they doing, Mona. Spring gave 300. Hold on. Let me scroll up. I ain't even see that shit. I'm a 30 year old independently wealthy black man. Bitch. Black men ain't broke, bitch. They not. They're not. Look how young he is. He's 30. I am a 30-year-old, independently wealthy black man. I have to fight, bitch, all my life to even get a date with a black woman in the U.S. Guess who has no problem dating me, though? Airplanes. Do y'all see why our men are leaving? H hear me out, though, for a second. This is a crime motherfucking shame that y'all don't even want these black men. This we were talking about earlier. We were talking about this earlier with the black men. How y'all like broke dick mountain men until it's late and you want to clean shit up. Now you want to come back and shit. But you passed up spring. He has to fight to get a date. Well, that's because he's probably short. And that's because he probably is this. And that's because he's probably a nerd. And that's because he's probably a bitch. And that's why another one is gone. Dumbass. Dumbass. Y'all gonna look, y'all gonna stop having these petty ass standards and get with you a man that's about something. I'm five seven. That's kind of tall for a woman. I got these long ass legs too. I'm five seven. I've always said, oh, I'm gonna have me a man that's taller than me. Now I never had the standard of, oh, he gotta be six foot or, or over, but I my standard kind of was, or my preface, I should say, was he got to be taller than me so I can still be able to wear my heels. My husband is 5'6", bitch. 5'6". Ain't no extra inch on it, ho. It's 5'6". That's a good-ass man, though. That man upgraded my whole life, my whole being, bitch. You think I was getting ready to pass that up because of height? Guess what else? My husband is a bookworm. And on top of that, he's extremely introverted. He only fucking talks to me. Are oh, y'all following me? My husband would be qualified as somebody that is socially awkward. Guess what? Great ass man. You think I'm going to run and pass him up because he's socially awkward and introverted and likes to read books and he's shorter than me? No, bitch. This is where we fuck up. Well, that's because this is why. Do you see the airplanes, oh? Do you see the airplanes? I don't want to hear shit. Well, that's because he's probably, do you see the airplane, sis? And I don't want to keep hearing about, well, that's easy for you because you got this and you got that. And a lot of y'all would have passed up what I have. Because, oh, he's too short. And, oh, all he wants to do is read. And, oh, he's he, he's introverted and he doesn't want to go out to the to clubs and to the bars and he, wants, he doesn't want to party and shit. So I don't want to hear that shit. Because according to y'all, I shouldn't even be with my husband. 
Girl, you settled. Did I? Because, bitch, I'm living, I'm, I'm living pretty much like a whale, thanks to Mr. Eric Bell. Bars. Oh, and black men. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Spray. I'm, we're going to leave Spring up there. I'm living pretty fucking well, thanks to my beautiful husband, Mr. Eric Bell, and black men. You know, the black men that y'all say are broke. Bitch, please. They got money. They just wise with they shit. At least the black men that rock with me are. D. Cole says, shout out. Oh, he said, shout out. I actually love it. Think I'm broke. More money for myself. I'm not changing myself to portray the stereotype. Facts. That, they haven't got the memo, y'all. Like I said, it's a bunch of um, reverse psychology type ish going on. Oh, I'm ashamed, y'all. That way, like we said earlier, you know, y'all can feel like y'all are so low that you guys just tolerate whatever I give to you because after all, you know, I'm settling by even being with you. So just tolerate me. You know what I'm saying? Then on the flip side, it's like, yeah, they're broke because they're, they're trying to get you guys to flash your cheese and flash them keys and try to show and prove yourself to them. But y'all are not doing that anymore. Look, y'all, do you still have simp lollipoppies? Yes, you still have those suckers and those easy licks out there to where, you know, you can, you can manipulate them. Yeah, yeah, that exists. It does. I, I, I honestly don't know if it's going to ever completely go away. But I just would like for it to, you know, the numbers to go down, which it is. I'm happy for it. But that's not happening more. A lot of black men are not caring about showing and proving anything to a female. It's like, look, you either want to give this an honest chance or leave me alone. You can't shame me. You can't try to make me feel bad or feel like anything other than what I know I am. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not budging. You say I'm broke, cool. More money for me. You say, you know, I'm lame, cool. More peace for me because I don't got to deal with you. But see, we're so used to black men just being triggered. You know what I'm saying? We're used to you guys being triggered like, oh, let me say this that way that he, he'll feel so pressured into showing me his wealth and into showing me that he got money. So let me just say that he broke and a real man, he would take me on a date for $2,000 for the first date if he was balling like that and if he really had it like that. And if you can't, then you just a broke ass, dusty ass, conquered ass black man. And then we're used to y'all being like, no, I'm not. Let me go ahead and take $2,000 out of my savings account and show this bitch that I'm really balling. It's like, yeah, got him, sis. Got him. That ain't flying. That ain't happening no more. They're like, okay, bitch, that's cool. Dismiss, disqualified. That's all that means. Thank you, uh, Lil213. Ladies, you don't get something for nothing. That is just the way the world is. Facts. Like, you cannot be out here saying, you know, you, know you, you have a different experience because you're a quality woman. Duh. Duh. Lord. Thank you, Deco. Last thing, a lot of us are tired of the time wasters and constantly improving just for not a damn thing changing. Great live as usual. Thank you so much. Thank you, the L Fact. He says, good show, Danica. I appreciate it. And again, so our day off. Uh, D. Cole says, shout out. I actually love it. I read that. We said, I think I'm broke. Like I said, they don't really care if y'all what y'all think. This is the memo that we did not get. Black men that are well-to-do, that have things to offer, they don't give a fuck about what you think about them. They don't. This is a new, look, this is a new breed of black man. This is a wake up for the black man. I don't give a fuck. They don't. They don't. Again, you can't shame me. You can't ridicule me. You can't do anything. I just won't deal with you. 
airplanes. Look, like I said, this on y'all. This on y'all at this point. Of course, black men like you because you like them and you're in shape and you have a nice body. So y'all really want to be able to pull up built like Barney, Mrs. Puff, and Baby Bop, bad attitudes, like the damn gross sister with your damn hand out, and have a man want to marry you? Have a man want to settle down with you and take care of you? Are y'all serious? Are y'all serious? It don't really matter because I'm a real women's and if he was a real men's, then he'll just tolerate me and give me whatever I won't need and take care of my children and stop it. Stop it. Uh oh, here come Dexter. I would buy stock in Ethereum and uh, before spending $2,000 on a stranger. The return on investment is better. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Look here. Y'all know not. Y'all know not. Y'all really got it messed up. Black men are not broke. Black men do want marriage and relationships, just not with y'all. Because again, there's no return on investment. Get with you and then get what out of it? But a headache. And somebody that I'm not physically attracted to, mentally attracted to, emotionally, emotionally connected to, that's going to just take from my wealth and my riches... For what? Like I said, I don't know y'all not going to want to hear this. I know this going to be harsh, but I'm going to be real with y'all. Y'all harsh to me with your nice, nasty asses. A lot of y'all not even fuckable. Let's just be real. But then want a man to do everything. Stop it. Stop it. And then the ones that are, it's not even worth the, the orgasm. Stop it. Come on. It's not even worth it. Y'all... Yeah. Black men ain't playing with y'all asses no more. And y'all mad. And don't come at me because I'm telling you the truth. And don't come at me because you see that I'm getting a different result when it comes to black men. Don't get mad at me. Don't blame it on me. Blame it on your damn self. Take notes, bitch. Do something different. Y'all laughing. I'm so serious. It's not even funny. Thank you, LG. Cool. All money in. Rather keep my peace and invest in self and give love where I get it. All that gaslighting ish and hate speech is for the birds, man. It's a whole new black man, baby. They ain't playing this shit, my mom, man. Like I said, I got my man. I was, I've been trying to help y'all. And y'all keep trying to come at me like I'm doing something wrong. Like I'm telling you something wrong. Look, y'all, I got to cook. 